An old friend recently said to me that he thought getting type 1 diabetes was the best thing that ever happened to me. I laughed. It's ridiculous. One of my vital organs was randomly shut down by my immune system when I was a child. And now, all day, every day, I have to do what most people's pancreases do automatically. And on top of that, it can be dangerous. But it stuck with me because it somehow felt true. I <laughs> just didn't say anything, and we kept on driving. Looking for an explanation, I came across a psychological study that measured happiness in people who won the lottery and people who became paraplegic. As you'd expect, after people win the lottery, they get really happy. And after people become paralyzed, they get really sad. But what's fascinating is that with time, people go back to being about as happy as they were before. How long? How long do you think? Six months to a year. And so psychologists use this to point out that we adapt to what we've got pretty quickly because that's what we've got. Most of us don't dwell on the past, we only think about what's happening right now. But even if that explains how you might be okay having type 1 diabetes, it doesn't explain how it would make you stronger. So here's another idea. A child gets diagnosed and they start getting more attention from their parents, from doctors, from their peers, from their community. Maybe it helps them develop. But then again, we've all seen what happens when attention, pity, or praise comes too readily. Children can get spoiled by it. So what about the opposite? Replacing the function of your pancreas is, in a way, like doing extra exercise because of how well you have to treat your body. Doing extra math with all the carbohydrate counting, blood glucose measuring, insulin calculations and constantly fighting with willpower, being diligent with testing, self-monitoring, and mindful of your body's reactions. Now, these are metaphorical, but what would happen if someone did more exercise, did more math, and used more willpower? You see where I'm going. When I think of it this way, if I have to be sick with something, I'm kind of glad it's something that's good training for life and even reminds you occasionally that life is fragile and precious. Here's one last idea. Imagine trying to create something artistic with every option in the world open to you. Where would you start? But what if you were limited to a pen and to writing a five-word story? It becomes easier to tackle, doesn't it? Similarly, the perceived limitations of type 1 diabetes can enable action just by giving you something to push against. This has been Johnny White and Oliver Brown for Welcome to Type 1.